Hey, disciples of Jesus Christ, this is Jim McKnight with the No Place Left Network, and I want to share a simple tool with you to cast vision uh, for your churches and your church networks that can have a big impact on your area. Jesus says in Matthew 28, 19 through 20, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And surely I'm with you always to the very end of the age. And so the two things we want to emphasize about this is that Jesus says, go make disciples, not come. And that once you find a disciple, the standard for teaching is teaching them in such a way that they become obedient. So here's how we're going to practically do this in our network. This little blue dot right here is you and your church. And then there you are getting trained in a church, maybe in the church that you're meeting with for the first time tonight. And at the end of your first meeting, if the No Place Left Network's doing its job, you'll know how to go out and share the gospel of Jesus Christ and his kingdom and lead someone to Christ. You'll know how to go and make a disciple. Now, the instinct for most people at that point would be to bring their friends back to the church where they're getting trained in. And if my wife, Linda, and I are leading that church, we'll tell you, hey, that's great. You can bring your friends back here and we'll disciple them for you. But if you want to obey that command, go make disciples, and you want to be the primary disciple maker in that person's life, then we want you to start teaching them to obey right there where you are. And so as these arrows are you going out to make disciples, and then you can see new churches being formed. Maybe they just start with one or two people and where people are learning to obey Jesus. There's only one rule. Whenever you start your new church, it can't be at the same time the church where you're getting trained meets because we want you to keep coming back to get trained see this little double-headed arrow is very significant we want you to go out make disciples teach them to obey and then come back so that you can continue to learn to obey and if you and your friends are willing to do the same thing release authority for people to go make disciples and teach others to obey we can start to have a major impact in an area and through a ministry of multiplication a whole area can be seated with the gospel of Jesus Christ until there's no place left where he, Jesus, is not receiving the glory he is due with people following and imitating him. Keep making disciples in churches until next time.